topics that we are going to cover there uh, we will see how the quality management module is integrated into pp production basically then how to plan and perform inspection during production okay then inspection during production at regular intervals we will see this then we will understand time based intervals quantity based intervals and freely defined intervals we will cover this and then finally quality inspection at the end of the production process okay so these are the topics we will be covering in the qml production okay so basically uh, uh, quality inspection normally in the production is done at two stages one is during the production activity during the production activity it is called as in process inspection okay another one is inspection for good receipt from production that means after the completion of the production so they produce a product and they transfer the product to the warehouse after that they will do the quality inspection so after completion of production so one is one is inspection during production process okay and the other one is inspection for good receipt from production okay uh, just give me one minute i uh, just give me one minute okay so these are the two scenarios we have one is in process inspection production another one is inspection at the end of the production okay so first we'll start with the in process inspection in production so in production the integration of inspection specifications in the routing allows you to record qm relevant information okay. so for this one the control key in the task list operation defines whether inspection characteristics are to be used so basically in the pp module they use a task list okay so this task list can be a routing okay or a master receipt so in this task list you will assign the respective control i will show you this in the system okay when a production order is released the system creates an inspection lot record to manage the inspection specifications and inspection results for all operations so in the pp module when they release the production order system will automatically generate the inspection log this is in process inspection in process inspection type used is 03 and it is non stock related here there is no stock posting because still the production is ongoing production is ongoing so that's the reason uh, uh, what do you call uh, 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 there is no stock posting here okay so this is the one so what happens is let's say in the production process they have three four operations one two three four operations so during the third operation let's say they want they do some quality checks when the production is ongoing they want to do some quality checks so at that time when they create a production order and when they release it system will automatically generate say inspection lot and then they will enter the results and then just they will do the UD. This, this they will do the UV. So this is in process inspection. Okay. So now this we will see it in the system. Okay. So for this, the settings are in the material master, you need to assign the inspection type 03. And in the PP production, uh, PP task list, you need to assign the required MICs. So here we will not be using the inspection plan. Inspection plan is not used here. In the PP routing itself, you will assign the characteristics. Okay, so now uh, let's make this setup. Okay, so I log into the system.
okay i will take a finished product so i'll take this finished product pepsi bottle one liter this is a finished product so let's say i want to do some in process inspection for this product during manufacturing so what you need to do is first is in the material master you need to assign the inspection type 03 okay so let me go to its material master show you view okay what is a material code 6782 6782 enter okay go to quality management view okay plant is 1710 so we have the qm view now go to inspection setup here you need to activate inspection type 03 okay so if you go to the list here you have 03 in process inspection for production order this you need to activate this one this one you need to activate inspection type 03 so i'll assign it check all the indicators have come activated here there is no stock posting here you see that indicator itself is not there post to inspection stock why 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 it is not there is it is in process means the production is still ongoing you don't know they don't know how much quantity is ultimately produced that's why here there is no stock posting okay continue then save it so this is the first step from qm side first setting now here there is no inspection plan in the production routing they will assign the MICs. What MICs they are going to check? So I'll go to routing, CA02. Uh, as both of you are PP consultants, I, I assume you know about routing. Okay, so this is a product, this is a plant. I'm going to the routing in the change mode, CA02 in the change mode. Enter. Okay, I'll take the first routing, first routing, go to operations. Uh, so if you see here, this routing is having three operations. Clean the empty bottle, filling and packing. So let's say during the second operation, they want to do some quality checks. Okay, they want to check the filled volume. Let's say, okay, what I will do? I'm not sure whether we have the MIC or not. Let me check. So for that particular operation, you need to assign a control key. Control key with, I'll show you the control key. This one. Just one. PM inverse production operator inspection characteristics is not there. Okay, wait. We may be having Y Y M Y P. P one P two. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Let's say let's take YBQ1. Okay, if you take this YBQ1 detail information, you see this control key. This control key, if you observe carefully, it is activated with the indicator called inspection characteristics required. So the control key which is activated with this checkbox, you need to assign. See here you see inspection characteristic required. You need to assign this to that particular operation. So we have assigned it. So now for this operation, you have to assign the MIC. Select the operation. Here you see there is a button here, inspection characteristics. Go to there. There you assign the MIC. Okay, let's say I want to check, let's say whether we have that field volume. MIC field volume. Okay, let me close this. Let me search. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll create MIC. How much time it will take? 
create a MIC. Okay, I'll create a MIC. Okay. I'll create a uh, MIC called field one. Okay, quantitative released complete copy model. Field volume. Control indicators, lower limit, upper limit, check target value, sampling procedure. It's already we discussed. Okay, continue. Measurement unit, okay, liter. Okay, field volume, let's say 1.00. Number of decimal places I want to 0.98 or 0.992, 1.04. So field volume should be the in between this range only actually supposed to they they're supposed to fill in the bottle one liter but this much uh, uh deviation is allowed so this is the mic continue okay, sorry we need to put small yeah. okay entered now save it so i'll take this mic and save the mic this mic i will assign it over here okay Now, if you go, you can see that fill one. You can see it here. So that means during the filling, they will check the fill one. Assign the sampling procedure. Fix the sample. Enter. Okay. So this is the MIC. You can have more than one MIC, but I just uh, just I am I'm entering only one MIC. Okay. So basically, here what you need to understand here is here you will not have any inspection plan. The MICs you will assign in the PP task list. PP task list. That's what we assigned. Now save it. Okay, so we made all the settings. So basically, as I told earlier, we have two scenarios. Okay, so basically, I will go to the notepad. So we have two things. Okay, one is in process inspection in production, in process inspection in production. Okay, so this is the inspection type is 03. Inspection type is 03. We already assigned it. Another one is inspection after production complete. Inspection after production order GR at the end of the production basically. Okay, but this one 04. But as of now, we are discussing this. So we made all the settings. Okay, so now what happens is when they create the production order it will generate the inspection lot okay so when they create the production order and release it it will generate a lot so now i will show you that. i will create a order production order c01 this will be done by ppt we will not be doing this in the real time this production order creation will be done by the ppt okay so i will enter the product let's say this is the product they are going to produce enter the material enter the plant enter the order type okay let's say they want to produce thousand bottles select current data and select the version okay i'll and activate the batch number your operations got copied your operations got copied and the second operation is assigned with the control key okay now go back now i'm saving the order so this production order creation will be done by ppt they will do this order is created whenever they want to do production they will create this order so now go to the order change mode okay order is created order is in created mode okay now if you go to assignment tab here you see there is a field called inspection lot as of now it is not generated when you release the order this lot will get generated okay so now i'm releasing the order See the lot got checked. 